look sleep fantastic. Oh, thank you. Amazing. And you do comedy? Seriously? You're so beautiful. Oh, jeez. 2011. Yeah. It is. You know? They say 211. Do you say 211? I'm going to try it. Somebody corrected me on Twitter. 211. I don't care for 211. 211 is like it doesn't a feel right. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go against that starting yeah, now. Yeah. 2011. 2011. <laughs> Over 211. We're hot in 2011. Now, when you're on 24, yes. everything's urgent, <laughs> right? It's a lot of, yeah, it was really different to be on Modern Family because, I mean, I had some emotional turmoil with Mitchell. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. he kind of had his way with me and then dumped me because he was gay, and that was, <laughs> it was difficult for my character. But um, it was nothing compared to being on 24. They said cut, and I said, you know, where's the nuclear bomb? Where's the... <laughs> Well, where's the gun at my head? And it was uh, quite a relief, actually. <laughs> it is refreshing, isn't it, not to have a gun at your head? Yeah. The, uh... No, no. Okay, so on Modern Family, you play his ex-girlfriend, and he's gay. Yes. In real life, have you ever dated a dude that would, you thought, or he was gay? It's happened. I, uh, I had this guy, I think I was in seventh or eighth grade, we had a very sweet makeout session, a very innocent, but for me, it was huge, and I saw... Tongue? <laughs> just ever so slightly. Uh, but for me, it was a huge makeout, and I saw stars and unicorns and rainbows, and, you know, and I'm getting into it, and he pulled away abruptly, and I never saw him again. 20 years later, he Facebooks me, totally gay. Ricky Martin? <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? His name <laughs> is Ricky Martin. It is Ricky Martin, all right. <laughs> but so, did, for 20 years, did you think it was you? 20 years, I thought it was me. That's what drove me into show business. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as, when you started out as a comedian, what kind of stuff, what kind of stuff did you do? I don't know why I was compelled to perform because I don't really necessarily have the personality for it. It just seemed funny to me. Like one time I was being introduced and I told her, the, the MC, I'm not gonna come out. So when you call me out, I'm just gonna be backstage going, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna come out. Which I thought that was hilarious, but it turns out people just felt bad for me. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about when you went? Cause okay, so that's one thing being on stage, but when you audition, that's even more revealing and, yes. and more neurotic for no, someone No, I mean, to be fair, I did do acting as a kid. I did acting in high school. But being out in the real world is a whole different arena. And I wasn't just, I wasn't very comfortable with myself. So I auditioned for a nervous secretary. And I was really nervous. And they thought, well, you're a really great nervous <laughs> secretary. And so, you know, I made it past all these rounds of auditions. And I finally went into the room. And at the time, I looked up and I saw the mom from Family Ties. Like, that's all, it was Meredith Baxter yeah, Burney. Yeah. She had a new show that she was doing. And I was so nervous, and I saw her, and I got even more nervous, and the words wouldn't come out of my mouth. And I just saw her face like she was so heartbroken for me, you know, <laughs> because what you realize is everybody is really on your side, and oh, they, yeah. want you they want to, you to, do to good. succeed. But I just couldn't keep it together. And I, I actually worked it out through stand-up, honestly. It's, you seem more together now than ever. Well, thank you. The, uh, 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 but you auditioned for Pam. I'm like a weird You auditioned therapy. for Pam on, on The Office. I did. Uh, some people often in real, not often, but every once in a while people will think I'm Jenna Fisher, which, you know, I, I am sort of that type. I auditioned to be that, um, the receptionist. And in that audition, you do a lot of, improvising right. and I kind of drew on what was going on in my life and the day before I had almost become a prostitute so I brought that into the audition and the creator you know I could see his face get all kind of screwed up like I just you know I need you to be a receptionist like you're you're going way down a but road. But how do you almost become a prostitute? That's not a drama log is it? No no no. How, how did that happen? I was walking down the street and I had pajamas on and a backpack and, you know, some sunglasses and this girl said to me, hey, and did you ever have like somebody you feel like you know them? I bet that happens to you all the time because people know you but you don't know them. And so I turned around and I said, hey, because I was nervous that she's my friend and I, or maybe she was my roommate or something yeah. and I forgot. And so I walked closer and she had like, you know, like, track marks and 
short shorts and she was kind of and she started talking to me and asking me if I needed where I was going, if I lived by myself, was I looking for work? And I was so curious that I just wanted to see where it was going and she took me into the donut shop and I met my pimp. <laughs> What was his, do you remember his name? Do you remember your pimp's name? I really name? did that. His name was, uh, his name was Kevin, but they said, he said, everybody calls me Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't actually go on any gigs, though? Any, 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 any calls? What are they? I, I couldn't follow through, you know, but I was standing there, and I really, I mean, it was, it was the real deal. And he was saying to me, you know, take off your glasses, and pretty girl, and you know, give me, give me your cell phone number. Like, he was trying to seal the deal, and uh, my heart was beating so fast, and I said, okay, I'm a, I'll think about it. I'll talk to you later, and I just, like, slowly backed away. And, and that story down. didn't get you the job on The Office? <laughs> no. But it's a good enough story that we, we like it. Yeah. Yeah. I hear a lot of stories. That's the first time I heard that. that that's kind of the first time I've said that. I bring like it, that. You bring Thank it out you. in me. Now, you're a mom, you're a mom too, so congratulations. You, you don't look like <laughs> any moms that I've seen, but <laughs> congratulations on the birth of your child. Thank you very much. How do you, how's that, how do you balance that? From almost becoming a prostitute yes, to becoming to a, a mother. Mom. You know, yeah, that's easy. not supposed to happen in prostitution. Just breeze right into it. Um, you know, it was uh, scary. I wasn't planning on it, but I, I'm, I'm pretty good at it, you know, my husband and I. But our, our family is out of town, so we kind of needed some help, and so we actually hired a nanny. Yeah, that's cool. Which was, I, I, I didn't really, I didn't grow up with any knowing even that you could do that. Right. My mom said to me, I never knew anyone rich enough to have a nanny. <laughs> that wasn't our, <laughs> you didn't do that. And, and how did you find her? Not at a donut shop. I mean, I never had a, <laughs> no. I did find her online, though. <laughs> is that weird? Uh, I didn't know what an avocado was until I was 25 years old. Where did you grow up? Michigan. Yeah, they don't have avocados in Michigan. <laughs> but I bet you knew the smell of gunpowder. <laughs> the, the, so what, what is your nanny, what is, is, she, is, she, is she Caucasian oh, like okay. most nannies? <laughs> no, no, what, what? She's El Salvadorian. She's from El Salvador! And she... Loves you. I've told her from time to time, you know, oh, I'm going to be on Conan, I'm going to be on Lennon. This is the first time I've been on your show. It is. Right? And did you Remember? tell your nanny? And she freaked out. She loves you so much. She started doing your bits, and she said, oh, he's so funny. He says, I caron. <laughs> <laughs> and, Does yeah. she go everywhere with you? No, but my husband and I did get married in Las Vegas at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino. <laughs> <laughs> As my mother-in-law says, just what every, you know, Catholic mother would want. But our nanny did come with us. It was kind of last minute. We were, I was supposed to go to, um, you know, host a club, yeah. and then that fell apart. So I said, let's get married. So we got married, so, and my, our nanny was there, but she, you know, it was maybe sort of godless, but she was there praying for us, so I yeah. think she really... Did she, she, you saw her in the corner with the beads and... <laughs> what, what is it, what's her name? Teresa. Teresa! All right, I got, I got something for you to give you Teresa, okay. yes. I have a basket of my movies and yes. my comedy DVDs, but also because she's raising your child, I got you some Vicks, <laughs> which is the Mexican cure-all for everything. And also, if your kid gets out of line, a couple of, my grandmother used this on me, very effective near the eye region. Excellent. So this is for you. Thank you so much. And she's got something for us. Everybody here is getting season eight of 24. It's available on DVD. And Blu-ray. Go to lowpresstonight.com for a chance to win yours. And check out Modern Family Wednesdays at 9 on ABC. Mary Lynn Rice Club.